I was reading um, in the Gospels today about the story of J. Iris, you know, one of the leaders of the temple, whose little girl was dying, and he came and he fell to his knees, it says, <clears throat> and asked Jesus, if you just come lay hands on her, she'll live. And Jesus immediately starts going with him, didn't say yes, didn't say no, just takes off to go with him. And then the lady comes and touches the, his uh, little end of his robe there and that, and that whole thing. And then, you know, his uh, servants or somebody come and say to Jairus, don't bother the master, she's already died. And, do, and I'm in the message version, and it's such a delight after I've been in a lot of other weightier versions the last couple of years. This one is like, oh. And it says in the message, uh, quite simply, Jesus says to him, don't listen to them, just trust me. And I, it was just like that just um, totally went deep with me. Uh, and resonated and kind of, you know, like when your head kind of goes off in fireworks, you go, whoa, okay, that's really beautiful. And um, it's just that simple. When we ask God to do something, it seems like immediately, and even though we feel like he's walking with us in it, immediately all this other stuff starts happening, you know, other people's stuff, and then just the exact opposite of what you asked him to do is happening. And... Um, and Jesus quite simply says, don't listen to them, just trust me. And I was reminded when I first got saved, one of the first things I actually demanded of the Lord, I didn't even ask. I, my uh, first love, my boyfriend, I'd gone away to college, and he all of a sudden was engaged to somebody else, was getting married to somebody else. Uh, I was... Yeah, like we were a long way mileage wise away from each other and in every other way too but the Lord told me I was just like really clear don't worry you know um, not even don't worry he just said he'll come back to you you know and he'll come back and you might not want him but he's going to come back to you and he, he did it took only it didn't take very long only a couple of years and he was back knocking on my door in fact Twice, I maybe even two or three times, he kept coming in and out of my life and could never make it work because it wasn't of God, obviously. But the thing God told me was even in the face, I mean, I watched him after he was married to this girl. They were trying to have a baby. And I'm just, you know, because I see them when I would go back home and it was like, whoa. And it didn't faze me. It didn't faze me because... The word God spoke to me was so sure. It was so locked in my heart. I was so trusting him that I knew the truth that everything I could see, you know, I could see that they weren't together. I could see the truth and the depth of God's word, even though everything uh, from the inside, but from the outside, it certainly looked different. So I just want to encourage you today. Don't listen to them. Just trust Jesus.